Good evening, everyone, and welcome to tonight's Boys from the Baltic Star. <gasps> it's our new look, Baltic Star. Look, it's beautiful. And you know why it's most beautiful? Because I'm no longer on the bottom right-hand corner. Everything is confused. <laughs> the world is literally upside down. I'll explain about that in a second. But uh, first things first, welcome to the Boys from the Baltic Star. It's a joy to be back. Um, at least one of us has been uh, busy or away every Friday or Saturday for the last few weeks. And it's a treat to have all three of us back here like some kind of uh, deformed totem. Um, but we're here, and we're here for our pleasure, and yours potentially as well. It's Friday night, and on Friday night here on the Baltic Star, we play Traveller, if all three of us are here. And yes, one, two, three of us are here. So we're playing Traveller, and it's an exciting Traveller for us tonight, because it is episode one of our new season four. Ah, they said we'd never do four episodes, let alone four series. But we prove them, we ground them, ground them into the dust and they're nowhere to be seen. Uh, we, but we're still fighting on. And uh, we're fighting on for you, uh, dear viewers. Thank you so much for joining us. If it's your first time or your thousandth time, you crazy fools, um, you're very welcome. We'll run a couple of hours or something like that. There'll be a break in the middle at some point. I, don't, I doubt we'll be in the middle, but Ben will find a spot, a good spot for it. Um, and uh, that's your chance to go and Go to the loo, grab a drink, or whatever you need for the most important thing of all, the toast afterwards. Um, hang around for five minutes if you don't like what you're seeing. Hang around for less. A big motorbike's just gone past me, so it's about to go past you. Um, Spares is in the house. Thanks, Spares. Thanks for joining us. Look, do you like the fact that we're on a, we're a different order? Basically, Roll20 um, always orders me at the bottom, so um, our names kept showing up unless we did it this order and we layered on top of each other. So basically, I suppose you can imagine, basically the three of us are laying on top of each other to, uh, to find the most comfort and the best look for this evening. <sighs> well, I feel hard done by in this situation. I'm just going to put it out there. <laughs> you're the middle. You're the middle. You're like the, you're like the peanut butter in our gnarly old sandwich. You're like the snuggly one. If we were caught in a blizzard, you'd be the one nice and warm and snuggly inside with these two berry men giving you a good old cuddle. You feel happy. Well, when you put it like that. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> uh, so please feel free to chat if you want to chat us, um, like Spurs has just done, or feel free to lurk. Either is good for us. We love our chatters. We love our lurkers. Click the red sun, and you can spend some points. They're all there tonight. It's been ages since we've put them out, so I've gone a bit mad. Uh, there's too many options. Basically, if it's a bit pinkish, spend some points, make a noise. The... Uh, the lizards have escaped tonight. Oh, you beat me to it. <laughs> Which is, I, I did it so to take away the stress. Um, so this is where I pause and they realise, they wonder why I'm pausing. Because uh, they don't watch <laughs> it in the same way that I do. Um, generally, if you spend a lot of points, you can interact with the story. A thousand will give us a boon. You can make one of our characters uh, tell a short tale. Uh, for 800, you can name an NPC and be part of canon forever for 800. You can get a minute of wisdom. I believe Rose's cat is in the house tonight as well. That's good. Um, you can make one of us clonk someone in game. You can just say who you want us, to, who you want to clonk someone or something. Uh, you can make Sarai give some scouting information, Stefan steal something, uh, or Agnar buy something for the crew. Have a flick round, find out what you want. Uh, the most... Uh, wonderful thing we do is for one credit and one credit only some channels have always uh, charged a lot of points to, to have a drink but we're not like that we want you to join in for fun so for one credit and one credit alone i'll drink to that it's you raising a glass we'll raise a glass and uh we'll drink to that i'll drink to rose's cat spurs quite frankly uh, oh that's any a new excuse. any excuse this is a this is some uh, chilean wine i've never had it before so i'll let on though through my facial expressions as the evening goes on 
Ah, season four. I'm excited. And uh, I'm excited because I get to spend it uh, with two of my best friends in the whole wide world. Isn't that both lovely and depressing at the same time? Um, but first things first, me. Hello, everyone. My name is Luke. I'm in the top right hand corner. This is very confusing for me. Um, and I had, I'm stuck getting nosebleeds up here. Um, and I play two characters in this wonderful ongoing adventure. Look to our new graphic to the left. I play Kara, who is on the left. Um, she is an artist, a hacker, a carouser, a talker. She's not very strong, but she makes up for it in bad decision making. Uh, jump for round three, and you have Soraya. Soraya is a scout, a pilot, a drinker of mimosas, a lover of Tim's. Uh, she has a Tim literally in every port. Um, she spent a lot of time by herself uh, in the past, so she's learning some social skills slowly but surely. Speaking of the need to learn social skills, the man below me, there he is, look at him, he's so happy. You look so youthful today. Um, it's because you had that time off, it's making you look better, mate. Here's uh, my uh, brother from another mother. Here's the housewife's favourite, and you can see why. Here's the Floofmeister General. Here's the wonderful Ewan. Good evening, Ewan. How are you? Hello, Luke. I'm very excited. I'm excited for our new season. Uh, I'm excited because this is the season where I'm going to take loads of notes. And that's my attention. <laughs> my note taking has not been perhaps what it should be, shall we say. Uh, so I'm ready to go. I've got a pen and everything. You're rare. <laughs> the, the pen's out. It means business. Uh, um, but th there's two characters in this that you're mostly going to be making notes about, I'd imagine. Who are these two wonderful, or these wonderful people? Uh, the child in me wants to then introduce your two characters. <laughs> as I can. Uh, but uh, I can read between the lines, and that is not what you're after. Um, <clears throat> the two characters I play in this wonderful adventure are uh, Agnar Arnson, who is the, the floofy looking one on the left uh, next to Kara. He is our former military general, um, all round daddy of the group. He tends to uh, spring for brunches and, uh, and the like. Um, a military tactician and a medic. Um, I also play Stefan, Stefan Miller, who is the uh, the only other one who isn't currently rotating around because they're a member of the uh, crew on the screen, on the right hand side, the far right, is that right? That's right. Not, not politically. I don't know. No, certainly not. Uh, we should be careful what we say, uh, especially on weeks, weeks like this week. Um, he is sat on the far right of the picture that is on your screen. Um, he's a sneaky, stealthy space rogue. Um, likes a bat flip, likes to steal things sometimes in a light-hearted way, uh, and is best buddies with Soraya, although maybe not so much now. What? Oh. It's hard to say. Well, only because of you know her uh, scouting relationship that oh, was built yeah. up with Agnar towards the end of the last season. That was a blossoming friendship, which I thoroughly enjoyed. Yeah, good times. <sighs> Thank you, Ewan. You've um filled us in beautifully um <laughs> uh, there's one man that's going to fill us in even more and uh lead us on our way to a happy stress-free uh, year or so i'm looking forward to the peace and love we're going to have in this time and he does that all because uh, he is the smartest man in any room he lives his entire life in the twin peaks room sequence and uh during the week especially on a thursday he can be seen being paraded around our town on the back of six topless and heavily oiled Eastern European gentlemen, waving to the crowd like our dearly departed queen. He is the wonderful, resplendent Ben. Good evening, Ben. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Yes. Yes, very much looking forward to this. The start of our new season is a, is a cause for celebration, I feel. I'm impressed we're all still alive at the end of three. I found the characters quite frankly. I was impressed we're all still alive at the end of one. <laughs> uh, it, it's true, yes. That that's definitely a a, a thing <laughs> that that could have happened. Um, and you know, it's it's fine. It's it's all good. Yeah, everything's gone well so far. There's absolutely no reason whatsoever to believe that there's any trouble ahead. 
assume there's no trouble ahead. This is, uh, someone's already said it's this is the this is the shopping and brunch season. This will prove it. I'm, I yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I, I I think that's absolutely right. That's exactly the way it should be. So um, yeah. why not start us off with that? Start us we mean to go on with a bit of joy and happiness. And no doubt remembering some fond memories of uh, the last few months, I'd imagine. Well, let's make it nice and simple, shall we? Our heroes have been busy recently. They seem to have assembled a large and diverse selection of enemies, which is nice. So perhaps we should start there. They've just got back from exploring the remains of an ancient battle cruiser, the Caloran, in the company of noted explorer and self-publicist, Otto Nida. Uh, While there, they discovered that a person, possibly a Varga from an important family called Tarak Ro, had paid a group of armed spacefaring entrepreneurs, or pirates, to find them and stop them. There may be more to it than that, in fact, but that's enough to be going on with. Of course, they still haven't dealt with perennial foe Anton Fess. On Geeka, they crossed swords with him again, and this led to him being stabbed by one member of the party and then healed by another member before ending up a rival in an ocean race and the whole affair coming to a conclusion on the top of a remote artificial island in the middle of the ocean. There, seemingly, they outwitted him, but there are persistent fears that he is still a threat. Of course, a party of heroes needs a mission, and they've accepted an important one. An awful infestation found in the rift, but far too close for comfort, has caused a vast mission to be assembled to investigate the source of the danger, and possibly find a solution. The threat is all too real, as our heroes can attest, and the mighty Deep Knight Revelation, a vast exploratory cruiser, is tasked with the journey. The role assigned to the Baltic Star is more modest, though still important, the first part of the journey will take a route that cuts through complex political entities, barely civilised worlds, distant areas, too far from the known areas of space to easily move unimpeded. Our crew will pick a route for the expedition to follow, arranging whatever supplies might be needed, safe passage if required. It's a mission of diplomacy, delicacy, tact and subtlety. Should end well. And that is where we resume the story. So we find our crew aboard the Baltic Star, currently moored at the orbital station at Brightsea. Oh, that is true. Ah, oh, Stefan. It's good to be back, huh? Nice to be back here. Oh, um... I'm sorry, Kara. Soraya, yes, yes, I, I, yes. I've got something in my it's, eye. I couldn't it's, see. Uh, it's me, Soraya. Well, you've you've ah. been you haven't been speaking to me much the last week, and I've been I've been practicing my uh, explosives, and you keep looking at me strangely. But you know, yeah, I, yeah, I feel we're drifting I mean, apart. It's, it's a long term thing in my eye. <laughs> yeah, that's the strange look. Don't worry. Oh. Um, yeah. What? 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 No, nothing. What are we doing? Well, we need supplies, right, for our trip. Surprise! No, like cheesy balls, surprise. Uh, Stuff uh, that, you know, we can't do without for a, any prolonged period of time. We don't know what kind of, what kind of know what kind of worlds we're going to end up on, what kind of cheese-based snack food they have. And I know how picky you are about certain, certain things like that. What do you mean, how big I am? Picky. What are you saying? What, 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 you call me picky now. I'm saying no. Yeah, I'm saying you've got high class taste in in cheesy balls. Mm. It's nothing to get offended at. It's just it's just an observation. What you've been looking at me? Well, we we can not get some if you want. That's fine. We'll forget Why? About Why it. am I not getting enough cheesy balls now? Oh, what is going on? What <laughs> what is this? This is this is meant to be a time of joy. We're, we're, <laughs> We're heading out, doing something meaningful, maybe. Oh, it's, it's not normally meaningful what we do then. No. 
You can Come argue on. with me if you want. Come no, on, I'm going to be honest. I'm, I'm teasing you. I'm teasing you. I'm looking forward to a bit of shopping. We need to get some proper supplies in. Nowhere near enough toasted sandwich makers. I'm very, Maybe very... we've got two, right? Yeah, but we could get six. The crew's getting bigger. Oh, that's true. And we need some bread to go with them. We need a lot of bread, a lot of cheesy balls, a few grenades. I'd like some grenades if they do. I don't know, though. We, we've never gone to shopping for sandwiches. weapons on here before. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you know. Dangerous. I want my, my food to have a bit of kick to it. <laughs> Shall I tell you? Should we... Um... Rack and pop. Yes, yeah, exactly. exactly. We want some pop. We want some food. We want some drink. I know Agnar's got his stash, but um, maybe if I don't can... think it'll last him long. But yeah, I don't know. Let's see, I'm sure Rose can work something out with the booze. Um, we can get some. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's let's gather a, a shopping party together and see what we can get off this uh, godforsaken uh, orbiting mass. Okay. Um, so. Who is going on this shopping trip? Well, as is Baltic style tradition, I feel as though we need to ring the shopping bell and just see who arrives. <laughs> I like it. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, but out, I suppose above the game, <laughs> both uh, Stefan and uh, Agnar will, will be venturing out. Yeah, Car and Soraya too, of course. And uh, we are. there will be a dragging of Rose now that she is the unofficial steward. She's in charge of booze supplies for the ship. We'll furnish her with the money from, from the older uh, the ship finances that Kara's taken care of, but you know, mm -hmm. can't be in charge of everything. We just want some good basic lagers. That's all we need. Some orange okay. juice, some champagne. Or sparkling white. We're on a budget. Well, mm. naturally. I mean it would be it would be a very strange choice to not stock up the drinks cabinet. Exactly. And that's Rose, that is um that is your job, okay? Uh, Got it. We, we want you to uh we don't know how long it's gonna be. You know you know how we drink. Um just let us know how much it's gonna cost and uh I'll uh, wire the money your way. All right. Yes. Yeah, that's uh that's that's great. I'll um I'll do some shopping. Nice. Do you want to take? Uh, I tell you what. Why don't you take Johnny with you? He's uh, he's good in a pinch, and you know we've run into troubles here before. We don't want um another Sammy situation, do we? Uh, do we, Stefan? What sort of trouble? Trouble? Um, d d d yeah, um, mice or something probably. Mice. Giant yeah. mice. Giant mice. Giant, Giant mice. zombie mice. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I, I remember when we left here the first time, we were in a bit of a hurry, but I never really got hmm. to the bottom of why. The, the mice. Yeah. So take take Johnny with. He's good. He's good with the mice. Like the Pied Piper. They they follow him. It might be the smell. Don't <laughs> buy too many cheese snacks because it attracts the mice. Don't no, buy the cheese snacks. Don't stop buying the cheese. We need the cheesy oh, snacks. Sorry. Is that not oh. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, get cheesy balls as well, please. Stock up on bit, uh, bar snacks and booze, please. And uh, Johnny, keep us safe, all right? Sure, sure. Okay. Anyone else you'd like to take? Uh, oh, I take it we're fuel we're fueled at the minute, right? If we spend a little bit of time here, we we can uh, yes, fuel. As, as long as you um, as long as you're here for long enough for the ship to be refueled. Yes, yeah. it will be refueled. Nice. Do you want to oh. check with? Do you want to check with Crumb? Do you think we'll need any uh, oh. ship-based engineering supplies out there? I'd hate for you know, like one of our indicators to break, and we've got a replacement light bulb or something, and we get pulled over at every system we go into. I think it's a good call, just for the one. Well, you know, moment. anything more you know, important than that? I suppose. Like, yeah, it's cool. Go on, have a word with him. Go on, go on. Go on, he likes you. Uh, really? I okay. don't know. I, it's hard to tell from his expression. I think he does. <laughs> uh, Stefan, to pick up the phone. Dark one. Okay. Um, yeah, Stefan, what can I do for you? Uh, hello, we're sending out a shopping party. 
Um, Soraya, Soraya's dealing in dishing out some money. So what it, I just thought we should uh, double check. We got all the uh, supplies and equipment we need for you guys down there for the ship. For the ship's pretty recently been through a major refit. Uh, I think hmm. we've yeah, 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 we need for engineering the uh, spares. The I mean, I'd be tempted to say we should make sure that you know any damage we received in our space combat was properly repaired, but never laid a glove on us. Uh, perfect. Any any personal requests, sir? We've we've got supplies going out as well. Um, I think our new quartermaster is—is uh, is that what they call them? Steward. Steward's gone out. Mm -hmm. uh, nothing in particular. I've always been okay. very well fed aboard. Good, good stuff. That's what we like to hear. A well fed crew is a, and he just hangs up. He <laughs> <laughs> uh, called you back. <laughs> uh, yeah, hello, Con. A well fed crew is a what? This is a very good question. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll ask around, I'll get back to you. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Stefan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, that was Quan. Uh, he says engineering is fine. Uh, he's perfectly happy. There were uh, no requests. Uh, he also wants to know what a welfare crew is, if you know. Very confusing. I, I wouldn't I think know. He this. might have uh, been on the cheap lagers already. I, I wouldn't know what the welfare crew is. We don't have enough toasted sandwich makers. I'm always last in line. Well, how come you're always first? And you gotta, you gotta wake up early. And when I say early, I set my alarm for like five minutes before yours. Yeah, that's, what I was about. that's about it. And then I bang on everyone's door as, uh, <laughs> as I'm running past. Mm. So I'm gonna have to get up pretty early in the day to get one over on Stefan Miller. Yeah, 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 yeah. The early crew member gets the toasted sandwich. Well, you do realize day. that. Um, you know, you've been you have been waking up what you think is five minutes before me at uh, six o'clock mm. in the morning. I've actually pretended to set my alarm for that time and then laid into eleven o'clock. So you've been getting up five hours early for no reason every day. You say no reason. I'm first in line for the toasted sandwich maker. <laughs> <laughs> Only physically, not morally. Stefan <clears throat> makes a mental note. Five hours early. Um, anyone else? Oh, I think we're all good, aren't we? They can all look after themselves. Um, mm -hmm. We've got entertainment on board. We've got uh, we've got the cool stuff in the uh, in the uh, bar and lounge. We've got the cool little uh, the hologram guy that we can talk to. We've got a couple of those. Uh, Decks of cards and things now, the usual things. Most have got most of the cards. Only a few jacks missing here and there from that from that weird night we had, the anti-jack night. The jack, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Of course, the night of a thousand jacks. Um, we should write a story about that. It was fun. Wow, that's great. It was, uh, it, it was awkward. Under a pseudonym, to... obviously. No, no, no. I don't want people knowing it was us. It was, I was pulling them out of my bra for weeks afterwards. I, it was it just, it, it wasn't right. Um, no, let's just go and get what we want to get. Let's be selfish. Let's be selfish for once. We've been carrying this crew by their coattails for far too long. Don't tell them no, I said that. True. We've been good management. We deserve, a, we deserve a treat. And, uh, and Car has given me the number to the, uh, the company credit card. So uh, Ooh. And, uh, uh, let's, uh, let's go shopping. Okay. Um, you step aboard the station. You've been here many times before and you're familiar with the layout. Uh, once you come off the docking ring itself, you enter a sort of foyer lobby area. It has some seating, uh, but there are also piles of packing crates and boxes, things that are being unloaded or loaded onto ships. It's largely personal luggage, not large-scale cargo. Um, but some people ship quite substantial amounts of their lives um, when they, particularly if they're moving from one world to another. So there are places where a fairly substantial pile of cargo is, is sitting around. 
Um, there are a couple of security officers keeping an eye on things and just making sure nobody does anything wrong or looks too uh, too too well prepared for action as they get on board the station. And as you enter, to your left is the Nova Center, which is the entertainment complex that you've been to on a number of occasions. Uh, to your right is the sort of commercial parts of the station where various uh, businesses and the station itself maintains offices and where office space and, and shop space can be purchased. And on the far side is a relatively substantial accommodation block uh, for both long and short term stays. All right. Um, Carl is actually going to suddenly cut into um, business mode, if that's okay. Mm -hmm. um, I would like to get into the local system to look out to see if there's anyone um, of a trading, trade minded mindset, please. Um, yes, by all means. Um, Uh, in fact, I think that's a very good idea. Um, can you start uh, with an electronics computers check for me, please? I'm going to start by getting my dice, which I totally didn't bring today. <laughs> oh, that's uh, fun of the season. And, no, it's not a good start. It. I just thought it was going to be a season of role playing. I don't like this whole rolling thing. <laughs> <laughs> Entertain everyone. <laughs> Yes, we're we're not a heavy die rolling channel, to be honest. It's 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 not what we do a lot of, and when and, and the reason for that is when we do things often go wrong. It, it is, um, as, as I think a wise man once said, um, when you roll dice in a role playing game, you're attempting to do something, and attempting <sighs> is the first step towards failure. <sighs> Unless, of course, you're rolling Luke's dice, oh, which yeah. are. But yes. Very well, uh, I got I got new I got new dice for this season. What have you? I, no, you of, course I, of, of course I didn't. I've still got oh, my, my cheap me. my cheap pink dice. Yeah, we love my cheap pink dice. Come on, can't spring that on me for the first roll. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> it's going to be a good one. It sets the tone for the whole season. Oh, the yes, whole th season. this this is it has to be said the reason why Luke always looks panicked when I ask him to roll ask him to roll a <laughs> because he's holding dice that tend to roll unnaturally high <laughs> really good dice because when we play orbital blues i those they're lovely dice not good rolling <laughs> dice these dice beautiful yeah yeah roll low good. does not work roll low. Low. Roll low does not work low okay right what do i need then um this will be um electronics computing please with your um uh, this is your actual training so education please nice okay so you can't three. have the plus one for your deck. You're not hacking anything. No, that's fine. So computers, not comms, right? It's computers. Yeah. Um, it, you could make a case for comms if you prefer. Right. It. I'm going to make a case for comms, please. I okay. It. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you very much. Okay, and it started with an abnormally high roll. You're right. It's a ten plus a four. It's a fourteen. Yeah, it's going to be a good season. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing bad is going to happen. That's it. It's made this set the whole. Scene. Maybe we should just carry that roll through the entire mm. season. Just say, Please right, yeah, yeah. we've now rolled the dice. We never need to do that again. All rolls are tens for the yeah. pieces. Oh, yes, please. Good plan. Like That's it. a brilliant idea. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> you're after um, people interested in trading goods. Yeah, we're, we're traveling around a bit, aren't we? We've got 119 tons of, uh, of storage room available. I'm interested. Mm -hmm. um, bear in mind, you only less got all of that storage room if you're not fully fueled. Yes, we've got less mm. if we've got fuel, haven't we? How yeah, much does because the fuel cut into, now you know? the hold contains this expandable fuel tank. Do you know how much that will take if we fill up that? Yeah. So essentially, if the um, if the fuel tank is full. Mm -hmm. It will use up 100 tons of your cargo space. Oh, so very little. If we f we can half fill the fuel tank, can't we? Uh, well, actually, you would do it in thirds, typically. Thirds. Oh, because it gives us the extra 
jump. Yeah, because what the what the fuel tank it, it doesn't increase your jump capability for a single jump, but if it's fully stocked, it effectively gives you a second jump three. But you don't have to fill it all the way. So normally you would you would have space for a, a spare jump one, jump two, or jump three in your yeah. fuel. Perfect. Perfect. Obviously, this does depend on what direction you're planning to go in. Um, but but certainly it might be wise to stock up with things that are relatively modest in scale. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Like um like jewellery and uh microchips and uh and intelligent northerners i've gone there ben i've gone straight up your sort of joke <laughs> terrible i don't mean that stay in your lane yeah sorry <laughs> don't cross the beams <laughs> yes excellent okay so um if i look at this up Based on that, you do have actually an obvious candidate. Hmm. Um, there is a trader and general merchant on the orbiting station at Brightsea. Oh. Um, his name is Galton Fring. Oh, how are we spelling that? G A L T O N F R I N G. Galton Fring. Um, the 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 hoo ha that I find when I uh, look him up does it suggest what he's a specialist in? Um, Brightsea is not an enormously elaborate uh, trade center and and trade hub. Mm -hmm. It it has a fair amount of through traffic, but it's it's not a mass production facility for anything other than some ores from um, mm. metal mining on the ocean floor um, and those are mined by corporations that take them there's no there's no independent trade in that it's a closed shop for that purpose um, other than that essentially goods are cottage industry uh, mostly produced on the station a lot of tourist tat and things like that for people who like pictures and video of a rather beautiful looking if dead blue planet and um the majority of um luxury things and the like are imports rather than exports okay well i've got i might as well go and have a look and see what he's got um uh, drop it in a call please if that's okay uh absolutely okay you um, you place a call, and okay. Um, he doesn't pick up. You get a, a a voice message essentially that says, um, uh, "This is uh, this is Golden Fring." Um, I'm afraid I'm busy at the moment, uh, concluding some important business. Miss Cotterdine. Um, please uh, leave your details and I'll call you back as soon as I'm available. Um, hi, it's Carl Velasca here. I'm, uh, I'm from the, the Baltic Star. We're, uh, we're moored up for a little while while we refuel. Um, we're going on a bit of a trip uh, and we've got a bit of space in our, in our cargo. And looking to sell some items uh, far afield. If you've got anything that you think might be of interest to us, um, we've got the credits. Uh, get in touch and uh, I'll come and hunt you down. In a good way. Love you. Bye. <laughs> okay. Oh, Agnar, that went really well. I said I was going to hunt him down. I got a bit carried away. Uh, I, think, I, th I, think, I think that's all right. So I did uh... the I love you. I panicked. Oh. Yeah, that was that was weird. Yeah. That that bit was weird. Oh well. Well, now I'm just gonna be thinking about that the whole time we're shopping. Where are we going first? Well, I was gonna ask actually. I was I was wondering. I'm I'm mildly concerned um, that we're off into unknown, uncharted space. Um, just us and our ship. And 
and our wits for survival, uh, which worries me. I feel as though we might need some more uh, med kits. Mm-hmm. Can you get me a bulk deal? Do you think? Did your what was your what was your friend's name? Um, Fling. Colton. Colton Fring. Spring. I, yeah, he's um he's into he's into cottage made uh, med kits apparently. I don't know. A bit of straw, That's a bit of straw. You can't make a med. Can't make a med kit out of a cottage. They're, you know, if if you if you're not feeling too well, they'll give you a give you maybe a, a bit of cheese and a, a bit of ploughman's or something to see you over the way. <clears throat> Well, that's not far off, to be honest. Have I explained to you the uh, the wonders of modern medicine? We haven't gone th- te- through the technicalities too much, have we? And how know. the med kits work and what I do when I save all of your lives. I did, I did notice that the really high level ones you've got are full of wet blue paper towels. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the wet blue, blue paper towels are very important uh, for cooling and uh, mo- moisting things. Um, the way the way that modern medicine nowadays works is that there's generally uh, these things called these four humors. Uh, so mm-hmm. the body is full of is full of four uh, four main ingredients. Mm-hmm. Have you been label. learning this the last uh, week? You did look like no. Well, right. I've been swatting up on some of my older uh, my older um, medical books. So uh, blood, phlegm, yellow bile, and black bile. Oh. Uh, blood and phlegm may be more familiar oh, to oh, you yeah. than the other two. Um, oh, and any any ailment. Any ailment within the human the human body, any disease, any breaks, any mm. uh, men- mental unbalance can be put down to an unbalance of these these four these four things. Oh, that's handy. So you just have to and all you need to up. yeah, all you need to do is figure out which one it is and, and then boom, remove, add some more. Lovely. Yeah, that is great. This is and this the med is... kit does most of the work for you. So you know, point, point and click, pretty much. They're really important. Get me with some more, please. Modern medicine is wonderful. Truly. Yeah. Come on, come with, come with me. You're the, med- You're the medic. I'll just make a fool of myself. You come and... Uh, come on. Let's go together. We'll do that. We've got... If we do some meds, we'll try and find some weapony stuff and we'll try and find some bits and pieces. I don't know. Oh, some, some new weaponry stuff or some... Well, I don't know. Stuff to go in our old weaponry stuff. Well, I've... I lost... I lost a weapon on... Uh, what? The, on the... Um, on the pirate ship, it was a. It wasn't very close to me. It was only my um, my uh, laser carbine, but um, we had to leave it there and never got to go back to it. It's in a billion pieces well, we... scattered across space. So I'm sure of a, and you know, Lara's bands is loads of good stuff, as you know. But it's all it's all Gauss stuff and flechette stuff and things. I I need them um, lasers, man. Freaking laser beams, that's what I need. Let's go find you a fancy new neon coloured laser carbine. <laughs> now you're talking. She she holds out her arm to like link arms with him and, uh, and tries tries to encourage us to skip down the uh, down the ramp. I said yeah, skip definitely. I I said skip, Agla, come on. I am um, it's hard when you've got a tail, it gets in the way. <laughs> Uh, she points at the uh, the graffiti that she did with a sharpie on the sign the first time we ever came to the station. Oh, they haven't cleaned it off yet, you see. Car what does that say? Everywhere. Oh, you don't want to know. It's a bit rude. No, it's, no, no, no. it's foreign. It's foreign. It's okay. Go on. Okay. You you skip together off the ship, but of course you do <laughs> to find the nearest arms dealer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The hey, or or uh, mini pack seller. <laughs> okay. Yes. Um, you you head not very far along the commercial corridor um, before finding a fairly generic looking shop, mm. which does advertise personal protective equipment and um and weaponry um it it doesn't look like the most um elegant of places it looks pretty pretty basic i'm gonna be honest carla <coughs> this looks a bit basic you look a bit you basic no, no all i'm saying is that you you know you deserve something more than basic 
I know, I deserve it. I promised but... you a fancy new laser carbine with neon lights and. Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. I've got time. I can fix it up. No, look, I've just reached for the older, reached for their little catalog they've got going. It looks like they've, a lot has been scribbled out that they don't have it. Most of the catalog, in fact, appears that they don't have it. But we might be able to find one or two special things. I'm sure it might not be neon, but you never know. Hang on, you never know. Mm -hmm. We might get something. Is there anything you want? It's all. I don't want to make it all about me. Uh, maybe let's let's look for you first, and I'll I'll have a little peruse over your shoulder through the catalogue. <coughs> if anything jumps out, I'll just uh, you know I'll, I'll earmark it for later. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's quite, that's quite fascinating. I suppose actually, really. Oh my goodness, I might need some personal armour. Mine's uh, okay. I'm quite weak on it though. Um, hello, my good uh, man, woman. Sorry, it's hard to tell. I haven't got glasses on. <laughs> the the person behind the counter is um, a a woman. Um, she um, she's definitely human, and not what you call uh, particularly young or particularly old. Um, you probably describe her as pretty nondescript if it wasn't for the fact that she's clearly been through a few damaging things and hasn't necessarily had the um, the time or the wealth to tidy up the wounds. So she's quite obviously battered and scarred from, from old adventures. Um, and she sort of looks the group of you up and down and says, uh, yeah, well, what, what, what can I find you? Um, hi, um, what's the name of this store, by the way, um, my good, uh, my good woman? This? Yeah. It's not mine, you understand, so uh, don't blame me. I won't blame you. Um, we call it Guns and Armour. <sighs> guns and Armour, right, so is it a one-off, is it a whole, uh, franchise going on? Um, it's... As far as I know, the only one. I found myself here a little while ago and in need of a job, and somebody suggested I could work the counter here. Oh, what's what's your name, my good my good woman? Uh, Solana, Solana Deremin. How are we spelling that, my my, my dear? I've got I've gone seventy years old. All of a sudden. O L A N A. Yeah. D E R E M I N. Solana Deremin. It's a lovely name. Um. I hope your um, hope your boss treats you well. Um, yeah, well, as well as can be expected, I suppose. Oh, we're looking for quite a few items. Hopefully, uh, by you getting a decent sale from us today, will uh, will uh, will reflect well on you in your boss's eyes. Well, that sounds good. Um, I mean, I don't get a cut, you understand, but. But uh, work, you know, having a customer drop by is good for the tedium anyway. Um, so, what kind of thing are you interested in? Um, she'll turn to she'll turn to Agnar at this point, as if a lady being offered by a gentleman. Okay. What is it? I'm, what is it that I'm supposed to be getting, Agnar? This is this for my birthday. What is this special gift you're getting me? Mm, the most uh, the most fanciest. Uh, bells and whistles, laser carbine with all the flashing lights uh, that you can possibly find. A laser carbine? Mm, yes. Yeah, we, we can do you one of those. I mean, it's not that flashy. I suppose technically the emitter is flashy, but you don't really mm. see it. Well, hopefully not. Yeah, I, ideally. I, I like her. She's funny. She is funny. It's good. Oh, well, certainly one of those. A laser carbine? Yeah, we, we can do you one of those. And uh, in actual fact, um, we've got new ones, but we've also got reconditioned ones. What? 
Yeah, we have we have a bit of a range. Um, what do you arrange for testing them? <laughs> no, no, we 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 actually discourage the firing of high performance weapons on space stations. That makes more sense. Yes. Have, have you got any that are at least a Tech Eleven? Uh, can you roll two d six for me, please? Oh. That's uh, ten. Oh, oh no, it's all gone downhill. Seven. No. Oh. oh no. Um, and something. Starting through the floor. Elements. Um. Uh, yeah, not new, but we've got a couple of. Uh, a couple of ones that uh, we've reconditioned. I say we. I fixed them up myself. They're good. Nice. That sounds good. Sounds good to me. Any, any uh, inside information on it? Does it do anything a bit different? Is there anything uh, special about it? Um, you mean what's different about it compared to the what that what happened when they came into me? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. That it works now. No, that's good. That's helpful. Yeah, I cleaned the blood off it. That's, uh, it does look nice. It does look What's very shiny, doesn't it? it does. You never be too careful with the blood. Um, the, um, what are we looking at range-wise? Like 200 on a good day around that? Yep, that'll be about right. It feels pretty good weight. I like it. Um, can I get it, Agnar? Can I get it? Yeah, of course I can. Thanks. Oh, quite right, too. I've I'm a woman with my own finances and I hold all the ship finances on my own card. But thanks. How much is that going to cost, uh, my good lady? Um, do you have any kind of uh, broker or trader skill? Yes, I do. I have broker skills. Mm. Okay. At what level? One. Can you roll um, 2d6 with intellect and broker, please? Yes. Eight plus two plus one is uh, 11. 11. Okay. Um, all right. She, uh, she looks at it and she says, I'll tell you what. I'll do you the weapon and the power pack mm -hmm. together for 5,000. Oh, that's good. I was going to, I was going to ask whether, um, whether you needed a power pack as well. Carl. That, I couldn't remember whether you said that that man stole it as well as the car point. It's actually, it's actually not bad. That That's about 7,000 street value, mate. That's uh, I know it's reconditioned, but that's that's decent. That's a decent offer. Yeah, get it. Let's do it. Five thousand is reasonable. I like it. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, that's a good deal. That's a good deal. All right. That's a good deal. Yep, that's good. Um, yep, and it's got my personal guarantee. It's a good bit of kit. Nice. Um, how many? Um, as an aside, have you got many laser carbines in? Like, we only need to be tech level nine or something. Um, we've got actually quite a few of those, um, and brand new if you want them. Any particular um, specification, or you know, do you need uh, power packs with them? Um, Kara's going to take Agnar aside briefly, sort of. Uh, I just want Jim, like, we're traveling around all these places, right? Mm. But I, I don't want to be like some kind of god of war, though. Do you know what I mean? You want to you wanna find a planet oh, that has I'm a very delicate, balanced political situation and arm oh. one half of the world with, with laser carbines. You never, you never know when a revolution... I mean, it might, it might come up. <laughs> it might. And we're we're going to have a we're gonna have a discussion about morals and ethics. Uh, they're playing, they're playing uh, medicine, obviously, at some point, but there'll be a lecture. Um, but if you want them, yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. I don't, I don't know, man. How much am I? I don't know. Um, I'll, I'll ask. I'll ask. Um, space, space is never a bad thing either. To be fair, for us. No, wait, exactly, exactly. Um, um, yeah, it's a good point. Uh, Solana, Solana. Um, your basic uh, TL nines, right? 
um, mm -hmm. with a power pack. How much would you sell them for with one with one power pack? You know, fifty rounds magazine. One power pack at? each. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, well, depend how many you were buying. Mm. Uh, how many you're interested in? Mm. Six hundred, seven. I don't have that many. Much, don't have that much money. Okay. Um, Twenty-eight thousand. Um, about about fifty, maybe. One. <laughs> I'm sorry. Say that again. Fifty. Fifty. Potentially. Like, let's Ooh. let's talk money. Let's talk. Yeah. We lose a lot of laser cardboards. Oh man, so <laughs> many. Honestly. You must use them as hostess gifts or something. Hang on. Um, <laughs> we, 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 do we, invite a lot of we do invite a lot of people onto the crew. This um, <laughs> true. <laughs> I, I, I don't think we can do 50, uh, maybe 20. <laughs> I started doing it all. 20 is always useful. <laughs> if, if it was 20, like TL9s, nothing, nothing special. 20 with a, with a pack. How much are you looking at? Um, we could probably do them at about uh, 3,000 for each kit so 60,000 all in so that with a, with a pack each uh, for 60,000 mm -hmm. what do you think Adam? what do you think like it's a three thousand, three thousand five hundred. I'm gonna try and get down a little bit. Sixty thousand. No, I don't know, man. You know, it might be an investment. It might just be helping people out that we come across. You know. Yeah. When was the last time we got paid? Oh. And what was it for? And how much did we get? Uh, we got some. We sold some fish. Oh, what you mean, actually, from doing a job? Well, or, yeah, or from selling fish, because, you know, selling fish didn't take up much of our time, did it? It took up a lot of the cargo space. But... The last time we probably got paid was um, selling the bass test. And that was ages ago. That was a while. And then I used some of that to buy some ore and buy some fish and buy some stanic, and we, we flogged all of yeah. that. How much did we get the fish? Uh, well, we're up to 200. We've got 208,000 credits. Okay, so it's, it's okay. Sixty thousand. Um, um, make a make a note of how much we bought them for, though, because you know. Yeah. Oh, I always do. It's it's important, isn't it? Yeah. Um. I'll t um. I tell you what, Solana, put a um, put a pin in that at sixty thousand. Um, okay. I'd like to discuss that some more after we've set, after we've bought more um, more sales your way. Maybe the with a whole bundle okay. all together, we can do a deal on it afterwards. Maybe, yeah. Maybe. I maybe, mean, we maybe, right? we can handle personal protective equipment, armor, emergency supplies, weaponry, um, even um, weapon fittings. You know, scopes and sights and things like that. Mm. Anything? While I'm having a think, anything you wanted, Agnar, from from this good lady? Uh. What's the um? I, I'm going to say biggest. I don't mean biggest, like largest. Mm -hmm. What's the most damaging weapon you sell? <laughs> What's got the biggest bang for uh, for your buck? If you know what I mean. Um, if we were really going to town on somebody that you personally hated, what would you be trying to sell us? Well. I mean, if you're talking about just a basic portable weapon, you know, just a, a, mm, yes. a, bit, of, a bit of basic kit, um, unless you've got any heavy weapons uh, with vehicles attached to them, I, I think we're talking... We're talking uh, personal <laughs> personal equipment here. Well, uh, let me see. Uh, can you roll um two d six? Uh, 
for me, please. Uh, yes, absolutely can. <laughs> uh, that is a nine. Okay. Um, do you have any um, negotiation skills or charismatic skills? You know, um, no, no, so no, no. we're looking to add social, perhaps. Um, and then something else, if you've got anything relevant. Mm, either, I suppose, advocate or persuade. Mm. Either of those, whichever you prefer. Both are one, uh, plus social as well, did you say? Yes, please. Uh, so that is a nine plus three for a 12. Okay. Um, she... Uh, looks a little bit uh, a little bit more uh, more cautious and she says i've got mm. something a bit special should we you know, do you want to have a look color should we oh, I'm, I'm excited can we may we should we Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, yes. What? Uh, what? What may I ask? Do uh, is that? Um, and she reaches under the counter and pulls out a a weapon about the size of a rifle. Um, you'll have seen one before, I suspect, because of your military experience. Um, but it is a a plasma rifle. Ah, uh, yes, Whoa. a plasma rifle. I'm familiar. Easily portable, especially Ooh. for a for a big old Varga. So PGMP. Uh, wow, and he flexes oh. his muscles, which which aren't there. That's quite exciting. You know, it's a it's a good weapon. Mm. If you're interested. That's my rifle. It's got good, good damage, if I remember correctly, Agna. Doesn't have hit pack a punch. I've heard they're not cheap, uh, man. I've heard they're not cheap. How, uh, how much for for one of these, or for this one? I suppose I should say for <coughs> a uh, plasma rifle. Do you have a broker skill? No. Can Kara step in? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, by all means. Yeah. I don't well, don't... Why not. That's all right. I'll, I'll you, do the talking. I'll do, you do the it. Talking. You do it. I'll do the talking. This looks beautiful. This looks really, really beautiful. Um, you know, and we're looking at putting a big order in here. What's um, how much could you offer my my furry friend? Look, he's got the guns for it, doesn't he? He's got the guns for the gun, as they say about him. It just it just looks right with him, doesn't it? Look at it. Look at him. I, I'm tingling just looking at him right now. Can Cara roll a broker plus intellect for me, please? <laughs> it came out pretty well, actually. It's another eight. Eight plus three is eleven. So that way around. Dubs four. Um, plus three over. Okay. Um, she says, uh, these are unusual weapons in these parts. But for a discerning customer, um, we are discerning. Let's call it one hundred and fifty thousand. Man, that's uh, that's pretty expensive for plasma. I know they're probably not that common around here, though, are they? It's quite a thing to come across. One is it's quite a thing. Mm. You like it? Oh, you've fallen in love with it, haven't you, Agnes? I can see. I, I know, I know, I do like it, but I think we have, uh, to be honest, I think there's more important things we uh, we should be spending our money on. Why don't we? Why, <clears> don't you, why don't you put a pin in it? Why don't you hold on to it for a bit? See how we feel. We'll, we can have a, a discussion on what we think about the price in a bit. You know, maybe the maybe we can uh, maybe Baltic King can top you up a little bit if you promise to use it for the good of all humanity. Uh, what about Varga? Uh, I count them as humanity. 
Thanks. Fargamity. 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 Um, was there any other weapons you were looking for, um, Echo, while you were here? Uh, no, 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 I'm going to be honest, I'm uh, quite well uh, well equipped, I think. The, the, the only other thing is that thing we spoke about. You know, the top secret things that we don't want people seeing us carrying around. He, he leans in. We, we need some medical kits. Oh, yeah, of course. The, the humours I've got. I've got. I'll humour you. Give me a second, though. Um, um, could you put a scope on my laser carbine for me? Yeah. I don't see why not. Um, um, second... Yep, I can do that for you. How much that cost? Um, me? Uh, you know what? Nice. Yeah. Given uh, given that you bought one, the one that I conditioned up. Yeah. I'll throw that in for free. Oh, you're a legend! Thank you so much. Mm. What difference will that make to my use of it, my good woman? Essentially, it's useful for long range engagements. Mm -hmm. so um, it allows you to use the maximum range of the weapon effectively Wonderful. without a scope beyond a relatively short distance you're basically firing blind Wonderful. with one you can treat it as an aimed weapon up to 200 meters that is beautiful thank you so so much um, right I would um, <clears throat> have you got grenades I would upset my friend if I didn't ask you this uh Grenades. Um, oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, you might want some of them, mightn't you, Agno? You might want something like this. Uh, yeah, I, c I can do some grenades. We've got... Um, we have relatively simple um, simple needs. Um, good to know. Keep, we keep it basic. We're, we're quite basic like this. We like to go... Um, we like to go frag. We like to go smoke. Um... And we like to go EMP are our favourite things. And stun. Frag, stun, smoke, EMP. Nothing crazy. We've recorded the basic Jeez, What other options are there? Oh, mate, you wouldn't want to know. There's a trank. There's um, neurotoxic. Don't get that on your fur. You'll never get that off. There's all sorts. Thermal smoke. Oh, it's exciting. Yeah. It's just... We keep it simple, though. I don't want to confuse... Uh, Sarai, she's still learning. Oh. Okay. Uh, well, we have mostly uh, non-lethal here. Mm -hmm. uh, we can do you aerosol grenades. Oh, talk me through it. Okay, so um, aerosol grenades are kind of like smoke grenades. Yeah. Except you can see through them. Ooh. You can see through the smoke they produce. Well, well, everyone, or just us? Um... Everybody, yeah. So, so what's the point of uh, smoke grenades if you can see through them? Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, you see, you you, sh you should ask a military person about this, but broadly speaking, it's what you might call a a battlefield leveler when facing certain kinds of enemy. A big uh, aerosol grenade. Um, what it does is significantly interferes with laser fire going through it. Oh, oh wow. Sucks for so me as someone uses really laser. Cool. I know. In the oh, right moment, way. the right choice of target, mm. um, if the people throwing bad stuff at you are, are using laser weapons, <laughs> oh. then you can throw one of those in the way and treat it like hard cover almost while you can fire back with Things that throw lumps of metal or similar. That's true. It's only me that's rubbish with chunks of metal. The rest of you are good with that. Okay. What would you? What would you? Uh, we like to have things to throw. How much is one of those going to cost? Uh, we want more than one. But what are you charging per? 
Um, I think honestly, uh, if if you're willing to buy um, a box of ten, mm -hmm. I can do you that for one hundred and fifty. Okay, okay, just on there. Make make a note. We'll uh, add it to the overall. Um, keep the running list going. Asterisk mm -hmm. it. Um, have you got any EMPs while we're here? I'm afraid not. No uh, EMP. Uh, any stun grenades? Uh, I can do you stun and I can do you smoke. Oh, um, can we have a, um, a box of 10 smoke and a box of 10 stun, please? Can you put me down for 10, 10 stun as well? Oh my I've goodness, you're, you're, you're stunning oh. enough as it is. Thanks. Okay, so uh, 20 stun total? Please. Okay. Can do that for um, 600. Mm hmm. That's pretty much. Sounds fair. Smoke? 10, just 10 smoke. Uh, 10 smoke? Mm hmm. Um, any particular color? Oh, Ooh. yes. What you got? See through. Um, We've got the aerosol for that. Um, oh, you got yeah. any good hot pink? Um, I don't think we can do that, but sometimes people use smoke grenades as a signaling tool, so it can be useful to know what what color is being used. Typically, red, green, blue, white. Oh, we could do red in honor of uh, uh, Greyhill. I'm sure you could you could get ten of each of a color and red and white and combine make them. make hot pink. <laughs> Sounds dangerous. While away the evening, combining two smoke canisters together. No, I'm not saying take them apart. I'm just saying throw two. <laughs> throw two. Oh, I like it. Um, ten red smoke and ten white smoke, please. I in no way condone any <laughs> tinkering with explosives. That's how it works, isn't it? On the ship. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Um, cool. Yep, we can do that for 150 for each box. 150. Thank you. 150, 150. You got no EMPs. You got no frag. You'd have no uh, TDX. You'd have no breaching. Uh, that's okay. Um, yeah, Agnar, you look excited. No, no, no. Go on, go on. Uh, um, you said you have personal protective. You said you have personal protective gear. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, we we have a, a range of of such things. No. Not your really high-end military stuff. Yeah, you that's understand. all right. We were looking, we, we're travelling around a bit, and um, we might find ourselves in different situations. You know, we're explorers. But that's how we see ourselves. Um, mm -hmm. We just wanted to stock up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, There's that's... the person that's just bought <laughs> bought a small armory and a load of grenades. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we're explorers. We're just explorers, <laughs> and, and we might explore different kinds of planets. Um, we just wanted to fill up. Um, you know, fill up one of our rooms on our ship in case we needed it. You don't happen to... A quick yes, no is fine. I, we don't need to go into depth if you want. Um, you got any snowshoes? Um, let's see. Or skis. Skis are good. You can snow... You can ski, can't you, Agnes? Did you see me? Yeah, yeah, he's oh, yeah. on board oh, the uh, so seamstress. Good. Skis, yeah, so yeah we can do those. Wonderful. Um, how many per set? Uh, we can do skis. Um, not there's a lot of call for it around here. Mm -hmm. uh, we can do skis for forty per set. We'll do six sets, please. Okay. So, so twenty-four, two hundred forty. Uh, mm -hmm. Six, six lots of skis. Um, you got any? Would, do you have any um, sort of like heat suits, anything like that? Um, vac suits, hostile environment vac suits. Oh, they'll, they'll do that. Well, actually, if we're wearing them anyway, we wouldn't need the heat suit, would we? That would cover that. And we do tend to try and stay safe. Um, that's a good point. Um, have you got any? It's gear. Do you have any? Just the suits. Um, so you wouldn't have any things like a, a would you ever do our suits do like hydro reclamation um, 
Mm. It's, like, it's, like, it's, it's like a dune suit, I think, pretty much. You can go 30 days without needing water. Mm-hmm. And 15 days without mm-hmm. food. Yeah, that's that's a good substantial amount of time. Mm. Uh, no, that's a bit sophisticated yeah. for a place that doesn't really have deserts or anything. <laughs> I thought it might be. That's okay, that's okay. Have you got um have you got heat proof suits though, more basic heat proof suits? Uh well what we tend to do in that circumstance mm. um is use uh something like reflex armor if you need real heat proofing. Hmm. And that works out. What's what, what's your reflex armor cost? Well, a basic stretch suit in reflex. We can bring that in at fifteen hundred per suit. Do you want any of that, Magna? If we need to go out into the heat. Now, bear in mind hmm. that'll cope with um, heat radiation, not um, some carrying something hot. Yeah. It's not insulating. Got you. Well, hot stuff. It's not going to. It's not going to help me. It's not going to help you exactly. You're going to be hot. Whatever. No, I think I think I'm all right. I think uh, to be honest, I find there isn't there isn't much that this uh, this old set can't deal with. I'll uh, fifteen hundred. You say I'll take four for six thousand for now. Kitting out crew mates as needed. That's okay. Might need them. Might not. Just um, how many was that, sorry? Six, please. For, oh, four for yep. 6,000 in total, wasn't it? Four for 6,000. Um, um, yeah. Do you have anything like a... Oh, so we've done the cold, we've done the skis. Um, have you got anything like a heated dive suit or anything like that? We've gone underwater before. We've caught with those squiddies and all sorts of things. Do you remember? Oh, scary time. <laughs> Guess you're going to get, if we have to go into cold water, we swim around a bit, have a splash around without getting too cold. Is your next question going to be hot water? Just yeah, is there a, a, a cooled dive suit? We can actually do you a, a full diving suit, yeah. Mm. A heated one? How much, are we, how much are they charging? Uh, that'll be 50,000. 50,000. Oh, that's going to be. I think we're going to stay above ground. We can't. That's a lot of money, isn't it, Agno? It is a lot of money. It's a lot of money. Oh. It's a third of a, of a plasma rifle. That's a lot, isn't it? Give or take. That is a lot. We'll have to, might have to skip that. Must, might have to avoid uh, marine environments. Um, do you have any. Um, do you have any good climbing kit or grapples or anything like that? Uh, not really much demand for it here, I'm afraid. No, I wouldn't do, I guess. Yeah, and you guys are underwater. I'd expect a lot of uh, good stuff in that regard. Have you got any good stuff um, for if we found ourselves in a vacuum at all? Not just a back suit, but, you know, any gear or anything like that. <laughs> you can't, really. Uh, not really. I mean, there are specialist tools and things, but we don't stock that kind of thing. Um, weapons we can do that work in a vacuum. Uh, well, laser for a start. Yeah, they're a good start. And we're, we're definitely trying to get our, our money's worth on the laser. Um, mm, that is true. And if, uh, you have anything come to your mind, Agnar, while I flick through? Uh, the only thing I was thinking of is, do you have any um, any shotgun shells? Oh, stuff? good question. Something uh, something a bit more, you know, a bit of variety. I only carry the one the one sort normally, and they tend to be a little bit. Uh, a little bit on the heavy side for most things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, indeed. No trouble at all. Uh, what kind of uh, shells are you interested in? Uh, well, what, what do you have? Okay. We have traditional fragmentation. We have a uh, flechette. We have um, 
armor piercing, uh, solid slug, um, and uh, and a variety of uh, specialist non-lethal rounds, mm. um, as well as um, smoke um, and marker. Well, I'd be very, I'd be very interested in, uh, in actually quite a selection of those, uh, <laughs> if if you don't. But perhaps that's better to do outside of the, uh, outside of the group. Uh, big purchase. deal. Sure, do you yeah, want to do, do you want to do the big purchase and then do personal? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't want to get too, you know, too involved. But I will, I will certainly be interested in, uh, in some regular rounds and some uh, solid slug, and then perhaps some of your uh, non-lethal might. Uh, might come in might come in handy a bit of a bit of variety to the usual toolkit oh, mm -hmm. i like it so so we're going to put a finger on uh in ammo and come back to it I like I like you're thinking i well, not literally but <laughs> no no um do um okay then so my last couple of weapons for the crew then uh, do you mm -hmm. have a flare launcher at all Uh, let's see. No, sorry. Uh, too bad, too bad. Um, I guess we'll need to, uh, anything else we need is ammo, I think. And, uh, you, you don't look like uh, the sort of place that does, um, high quality med kits that cover all four of the humours. Um, we have med kits. We could do with some med kits. Well, I don't know what I'm talking about, Agnar. You take over here. Uh, what do you what do you have in uh, what do you have in stock? I warn you, we're on uh, quite a voyage, uh, and my colleagues are uh, quite pro accident prone. Okay, well, um, we uh, we assemble our own med kits on station. Um, not uncommon for an outpost like this. Mm. And uh, and we we will happily sell you as many as you'd like. Um, uh, they're five thousand each. Well, Carol, what do you think? How good are they? How good are they? How, uh, can you can you just uh, show me through one? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Please. Um, and she pops one open for you. Can you roll a medic check for me, please, with um, education? Uh, yes, of course. Ah, uh, yes, you see, that's for the uh, that's for the blood. Right there, uh, on yeah. That Which was the bile? Uh, no, that's the. You see that bit? Yeah, yeah. The yellow one. That's for the decreasing ones. the bile, at least. Oh, yeah, the oh, yellow, one. The yellow oh, one. Oh yeah, I like uh, that's, that's my a favorite six one. Six on the dice bin. <laughs> Sorry, I'm uh, struggling to find, <laughs> and find stuff as well. Uh, education and medic is five total, so that's an eleven. Nice. Okay. Um, in um, game terms, these are Tech Twelve med kits that would give a plus two to any med check. Ooh. I like it. How many do you want, Agnar? Five thousand. We'll put it on the list. We'll try and knock it down a bit in total. How many do you want? Lots? Yeah, probably. Knowing you lot. I mean, we might be able to get them other places, but you never know. Uncharted space. Uncharted space. How much How much value would you put on, on yourself space. And, and your shipmates? But which one? Me or, which one? Me or my it? shipmates? They're both. Oh. Average it out. Uh, four and a half thousand. Uh, well, maybe maybe we don't get them then. <laughs> <laughs> get get a load of them, mate. Get a load of them. We'll, we'll, we'll talk out to expenses. I've got a really good accountant. No. Uh, when you say a load, thirty? No, it's not that good. Ten. Ten. Ten's good. Ten. Okay. Ten for fifty thousand. You want? Oh. Oh, we need to deal on this. Is that what you fancy? I, I mean, it might be overkill. I've got, I've got a few. Got six left, I think. Not as good as these. Let me do. Let me do my maths. So let me do my maths. Then. So we've got, I've got my laser carbine. That's five thousand. Right. That's five, five thousand. <coughs> um, Don't worry got... about the plasma. Don't worry about the plasma. 
No, no, we'll talk. We'll discuss it. Put it into med kits instead. We got, we got my twenty, we got my, my twenty laser carbines for starting a little war. That's six, that's sixty thousand. We got a laser carbine for a plasma rifle, one hundred fifty thousand. You're, you're rich, aren't you? you must have your pension or something. One hundred fifty for the aerosols. One hundred fifty for the smoke. One hundred fifty for the other smoke. Six hundred for the stunts. Uh, Two hundred forty for the skis. I've written skies. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> Six thousand in total for the reflex, and fifty thousand for the. Well, my good lady, it appears that <clears throat> we've caught with the rather large total of two hundred seventy-two thousand, mm. um, two hundred ninety credits. Um. I guess I've got. It's we'd love to spend some money with you. It's a lot of money, and I feel like we're we're providing a lot of. Um, I don't want to blow our own trumpet, but it feels like that's quite a large order, right? Yeah. Probably not the biggest you've ever seen, but definitely not the smallest you've ever seen either. No, it's a substantial order. And um, I assume. You have some leeway to make the right offers. You're given that responsibility. You've given that leeway by your boss. Absolutely. Um, I guess I'm either happy to uh, barter for an offer um, directly all above board. I'm also willing to barter for an offer that's mostly uh, mostly uh, above board. And a little bit as a bonus, I guess. Don't, don't forget our uh, deep night discount. Oh, do we have a deep night discount? Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah, we oh, yeah, we do. Yeah, the deep night discount. Have you got the card or did you leave it on the ship? No, uh, Soraya's, Soraya's got it for buying if, the cheesy balls. If we, get, if we get six stamps, we get some free coffees. Is that true? Yeah, apparently so. They're deep, They've like, been deep holding light. out on us. Yeah, you, you forgot to use it the last time, honestly, man. There's no point if you're not going to use it. But yeah, anyway, um, like, it's, you know, some of the prices are excellent. Some were a bit high, but I get it because of where we are. Mm -hmm. um, I could offer, um, I'd feel happier for the whole lot offering. To and let's start. Let's go um, two hundred for the whole lot. Um, for the for the shop, or one ninety for the shop and twenty for you. Uh, can you roll a persuade with intellect for me? Oof. Let's kind of, kind of blow on these dice, please. Get that 10 back. <laughs> oh, I went early on the 10. It's even better, though. No, that's that's it's really depressing when it goes so well. I'm sorry, Ben. It's a, it's a 16. Oh, I'm sorry, mate. I'm going to change 16. those dice this season. I'm going to change those dice this season. Wow. Just a bit more of a... 200 to the shop is fine. Thank you. I feel really embarrassed about that. I'm really sorry. <laughs> that actually right. really feels really it's bad about role. that. I feel really bad about that. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, 200. Yeah, that's fair. Thank you. Um, I'll tell you what. Um, have uh, 20 grand yourself anyway. You've that's been really, really helpful. Thank, thank you. you. And that, that all come out of mine, personally. Thank you. Um, you've been really, really helpful. Thank you. Um, you've, um, Agno, you want to talk ammo? Sorry, while I work, I've got lots of maths to work out. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, if I, if I could, uh, just very, very briefly. Um, Karma doesn't take long to do maths. If I, if I could get, uh, am I right in thinking that the uh, the shotgun ammo? What, what sort of clip size? What do they come in? Uh, <laughs> magazines of six. Magazines for six, wonderful. Um, how much for the uh, the general, the 
general ammunition and the uh, did you say slug single slug yeah um general pur you mean um general purpose um like pellet ammunition uh, yes yeah yeah that's um a 10 credit Not per magazine oh wonderful God, um uh, if I could please, if I could please take, uh, let's let's go ahead and say fifty of those, if I may. Uh, fifty magazines. It did. So three hundred rounds. Are you trying to talk? Are you trying to talk me down? <laughs> no, no, it's great. Is that a lot? Do I not need that much? Uh, no, yeah. If we if we could go, uh, if we could say better. fifty, please. Fifty fifty times six. Uh, wonderful pellet shotgun. Uh, yep, yeah, so 300. Uh, uh, yeah, um, sorry, that'll be uh, 500 for the um, 300 yeah. rounds, 500 credits. Yeah, 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 perfect. Um, and then the uh, the single slugs, the solid slug, yep, yep, solid slug. My apologies, it's been um, a yep, that'll be <laughs> essentially the same price if you want 50 again. Uh, yeah. Sure, thanks. Okay, that'd be good. Let's take some of those, uh, and then your your non-lethal options that you mentioned. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, we, I don't we, need a whole. Oh, we essentially um, offer non-lethal weapons that are um, non-penetrating but still hit fairly hard. Ah, I see. I see. I see. No. Uh... No variation on those. It's just a um, yeah. It's, a it's essentially a, what, a what they refer to as a baton round. It, uh, it it works like a truncheon from fifty feet away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that does interest me. Uh, what were the others? There was there were marker rounds and uh... yeah. So a, a marker round is essentially a paint splash, which you can use to identify uh, something that you hit. It's commonly used um, if you're dealing with, say, a riot. You fire a mark around, it hits a person, and then you can identify who was there and who was up to no good. Yes. Uh, damage done to the person? Uh, negligible. Um, they'd probably have to eat it. <laughs> oh, in which case, I'll take 50 of those as well, please. That sounds like okay. fun. Um, any particular colour? Uh, what options do you have in stock? Uh, we generally do a variety of bright colours, um, so uh, glow in the dark, yellow, green, oh. orange. Oh, let's. Um, can I mix it? Can can we mix it up a little bit, please? Just just sure. give me whatever you throw in a random selection, and uh, I'll I'll see what um, I'll see what happens. Okay. Yes. Um, all right, uh, I'll do you um, 10 magazines each of orange, green, yellow, red, and blue marker. Oh. Perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to have to actually make a note of those colors, aren't I? <laughs> and uh, do you need, um, mm. do you need a smoke round? Uh, talk, talk me through one of those, if you would. Much smaller than a smoke grenade. Um, can be used also to mark a point for someone else to shoot at. Yeah. Um, but usually is used to fire through a window or something like that, where a relatively small amount of smoke can have a real impact. Mm, I can see a lot of use for those. Um, maybe not as much as the, the rest of them. How much are they uh, a piece, if you don't mind me? Uh, they are... Those ones are 20 credits per magazine. Uh, perfect. Let me, if I could take 10 of those, please. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, I'm sorry, in all of the excitement uh, of shooting my friends with high colored shotgun rounds, <laughs> I forgot to ask for a price for those. How much? Uh, uh, 500 for the 50 mags. 500 total. Wonderful. Uh, so, uh, 1,700. Is that that's 1700 all in yes perfect thank you very much it's been a pleasure
I'm thoroughly excited to use most of this on other people. Uh, excellent. Uh, is there anything else I can do for you? I'd, I'd like a few bits and pieces of ammo, if that's okay, before we move yes, on. Yes, we've, we've been taking up your time. Thank you. First things up, um, Agnor, do you want to check with Stefan? I think when, when he was on the ship with me, he had to leave one of his weapons behind as well. Do you want to just message him, check if he needs anything? Uh, I don't know if he does, but while you, while you do that, could I get um, Soraya? I know Soraya will want some uh, Gauss rifle mags. Okay, yes. So how much is it per magazine? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, 40. And how many mags? How many rounds in each mag? Um, 80 rounds in a magazine. 40, 80, uh, 40. Let's go for uh, three of them, please. So 8162, 40, 296, thank you. Um, mm -hmm. And sh could you take a laser, uh, a laser cartridge as well, please? Uh, a power pack? Yeah, power pack, yeah. Uh, for what kind of weapon? A laser, a laser carbine, please. That's 50 in each, isn't it? I'll take two of them, please. She'll take two of them. Okay, that'll be 2,000. That's fine. She's uh, richer than me. Um, yeah. Wonderful. Uh, last thing. Um, just a, a whim of mine. You don't happen to have any bows on you, do you at all? Um... We... Like for shooting or for tying your hair with? A bit of both. Okay. No. Go we, either we, way. We I approve. Some such weapons for uh, you know for hunters. Oh. Mm. Feel the need for a new hobby. If you don't mind. We are explorer hunters, after all. Oh, we are explorer hunters. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, as it happens, you know you've been. Uh, as you say, very good customers. Yeah, we have. Thank you. Um, I have a a bow that people use uh, for fishing, but it would work quite well for pretty much anything. Nice. What, what, what if I was to write it down on my list of purchases to show my crew? What would I write it down as? Um, you would write it down as composite hunting bow. Wonderful. And how much would I pay for that? You know what. I don't think anyone else is going to be particularly interested in it. I can give you that one. Oh, you're wonderful! Thank you so much. Um, what would I what would I call my stats on that? If I if I was if I was looking to what would my tech level and all that sort of thing be? Um, if, if tech level numbers, is yeah. going to be probably two. Lovely. How far would it fire? Have you ever seen it fire? Uh, I haven't. Uh, oh. But if I were judging. Hmm. I would say you should expect a theoretical range of up to about 100, but a realistic range of about half that. Um, if I was going to make some damage with that, what sort of uh, what sort of numbers? If you could put numbers on such a thing, I know it's hard. Well, if, if you were to put numbers onto such a thing, the numbers you would be, be putting on it would be, I mean, of the order of um, more than one. Um, it would be uh, 1D plus 3. Oh, that sounds good. And uh, how many arrows are you giving me with it? Uh, a quiver is 12 arrows. That's lovely. Thank you so much. I look forward to practicing. Oh, well, hopefully I'll get good at it. Probably not. What sort of, what sort of skill would a, would, a, would a hunter use? Um, that would probably be... Um, I'm tempted to say... That's a good question. Unless you had some special arcane skill, that would mm. probably be a slug thrower. <laughs> okay, well, I'll be giving that mm. to so I'll be giving that to Soraya at some point. Thank you. I need to learn some slug skills at some point. I, I just have none of them, but I like. I'm a collector of antiquities. That's why I hang out with Agnor. And, and bear in mind, those those uh, arrows are theoretically reusable. That is true. Just got as long as I uh, know where I fired one, of course. Yeah. And with my skills right now, I wouldn't be able to guarantee it. No. Uh, 
Uh, Luke, can you just send me a picture of the uh, the numbers for the shotgun ammo? <laughs> I'm not going <laughs> through that. Sake. Not, not yeah. now. It doesn't have to be now. It might not be <laughs> right. It might not be right. Yeah. We'll during, catch that later. During break, you and I need to make a decision I'm on how much Agnar is going to spend on the, on everything we just bought. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I can't cover it all, mate. I've got to do some... Uh, <coughs> thank you. You've been really, really helpful. Do you have any business cards we could spread far and wide? Not really a business card kind of place, I'm afraid. But by all means, tell your friends. Oh, we will. Don't you worry. We'll make... Uh, one day when I when I write a big book about our adventures and all the places we've been. I'll make sure I include you. Thank you very much. Uh, sorry, talking about friends, my friends uh, just responded. I don't suppose you've got a, la a laser pistol knocking around, have you? A laser pistol? Oh, yeah, we got a lot of that. Um, yeah, laser pistols we can do. You Now you're definitely in our hitting zone. Um, we can do you, um, you know, cheap ones or good ones. Uh, what's the difference in price? A couple of thousand credits. Oh, and that's okay. just for the power pack. He's a fancy boy. And you know he's loaded. You know, he was he was taking half of our pay when we first joined the Baltic Star, remember? Yeah. F fully mm. kitted out, it'll be 3,000 for the cheap one and 6,000 for the pricey one. Well, let's take the pricey one then. Tell him it, tell him it cost it 10 Six thousand, you say, but yep. with an extra ten. Mm. Mm. It does need to look good with a bathrobe. I could see it looking good with a bathrobe. It's a... oh, well, thank you very much. Um, perfect. Okay. All right. Um, well, thank you very much. Come again. I don't know if we will be able to. We're going on a very long journey. Well, with the kit I've just sold you, you should survive it. So when you come back, come again. <laughs> if we do come back, we certainly will. Thank you so much. Uh, Excellent. Solana Deramin of uh, Guns and Armour, Wrightsy. <laughs> it's, it's been a pleasure. I'll write a song about you. <laughs> okay. Um, and as you leave the shop, we'll have our little break. Wonderful. Fantastic. Right. Let's get the old break, breaky picture up. Let's the get new the old breaky picture. No, it's the it's old breaky picture. Don't you excite, don't, was, don't excite people to think it's different. People will be looking for the difference. No, they, they don't. They don't they know. Break. It keep they don't know. No, they don't know. It's the same. It's the same one thing. No, I like it. It's got everything you need. You've got a drunk. So do I, right, but I can't shake the feeling that what you should have done is change just one really tiny thing. And like put another sticker on the door or something and then said, it's a completely new picture. <laughs> um, I've, got, I've got another week off work. I'll, uh, maybe I'll do something on, on a Wednesday or something. Be like one of those, think... um, one of those puzzles where you should be having comic books where you have to find the differences between two things. Yeah. <laughs> I think every week we should have a different shit in print and people should guess which kind of size I'm sure Alright, you do that. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. What? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> well volunteered. I, I went about it. Who was that? You're going to go away up. Right. Any time Luke sells me down the way. Uh, well, we'll be back in five minutes and uh, don't go anywhere. We'll go toast and we'll get off. Cheers, guys. Okay.
Uh, we're back. Ben is there, and he's going to say some things. <laughs> Thank you. It's time to gather our thoughts and take a moment. Tonight we begin the fourth season of our Traveller campaign, which began as a group of friends sitting around a table, then went online as the world descended into chaos, 
and we decided we might not be the only people who could get something out of a group of people playing a game and having some fun. It's been a journey, which is quite appropriate for a traveler game, and we've all seen some changes in our lives, and our <laughs> game hasn't just been a distraction, it's been important to us as friends, and once we went online, we found new friends through it as well. We've run a couple of conventions in the real world and had the opportunity to play a huge variety of games, many of them with their creators. In a few months, the tra Stranger Truth Foragers people who use our channel are putting their show on stage. We've had a wider range of experiences through doing this than I ever thought possible. And we've developed some traditions that are now set in stone we all chuckle whenever the phrase front of ship appears, and there have been more Tims in this game than I ever thought possible. But our first tradition is possibly our most important. Long before we started streaming, we lost a shipmate to gunfire on an unpleasant world. He wasn't the first of our crew who was lost, technically, but he was the first that had been actively recruited before being sent to his death. We remember him every time we play, and we did so even before we were streaming. He is now a legendary figure in our canon. Please raise your glasses as we toast the memory of the late, great Greyhill Bast. To the late, great, great Greyhill Bast. Uh, well said, Ben. Well said. Yeah, it's a very uh, emotional but reaffirming. <laughs> very nice. Right, so... It is about as you are leaving that you get a, a message come through to all of you oh. uh, from Kat. Uh, guys, everyone, you, uh, you awake, alert, doing things? Yes. Agnola. Oh. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah, sorry, we're in the middle of something. <laughs> Lots of numbers. Right. I, I've got a ping from uh, Deep Night. Could you uh, make your way along the uh, the concourse? They've got a an office at, at A11. A11? Yeah. Do they, uh, do they want everyone or... Uh, Just anyone? someone, I think. Okay. Oh, I think Agnar should be us, shouldn't it? Surely. It's, it's, it's time to win the power back from Stefan and Soraya. Yeah, uh, Kara and, and I, are, uh, we're on it. We're on route. Okay, okay good. good. Thanks. <clears throat> uh, anything else? No, that, that's, that's all. Uh, let me know if there's anything you need. Uh, no, no, I think we're good. I think we've, Cara and I have done enough shopping for one day. So. Oh, I'm all shopped out. Excellent stuff. Right, She's see you back on the out. ship. Good luck. Watch out for the mice. Always. So are you. So, um, you're just sending, um, Steph, uh, sorry, uh, Agnar and Cara to the Deep Nut office? They're, I'd like to think they're more than capable. I don't know what the other two are up to, but I don't like sure. to ask. Well, the, the others may have some, some labour to do, moving a great deal of kit to the ship. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, oh, have we got time for me to pick up some of those uh, dye-coloured shotgun shells? Do you think Deep Knight will appreciate a little, uh, little practical joke? Bad time? Let's do it later, Colin. Do yeah, do it later. <laughs> I'll save. It. I'll save it for someone else. I suppose for two hundred thousand, I'd like to think so, but probably <laughs> not. <laughs> Come on then, let's get going. Do you know the way? A uh, eleven. I believe. Yeah, A eleven. Yeah. I, I know this place like the back of my hand. Okay. Uh, hearing that, Agnor will grab the first person. Uh, excuse me, which way to A A eleven? A twelve. A twelve is the one we're after, actually. So. <laughs> Um, it's actually not that hard to find because the the way the units are numbered, um, each of them has a little a little sign sticking out from the wall above it with its with its unit number. Um, 
they're so obvious and easy to navigate by that even when a particular establishment has been in place for a long time and everyone's familiar with its name, they'll often still refer to it by its by its unit number. Um, and the the concourse heads down uh, past, in fact, the the unit that uh, that one Mister Fess took out the last oh, time, well, yeah. the first time he came here. Um, and on the same side of the of the corridor, but a little further down, you find Unit A eleven. Uh, I didn't like going past the old Fess unit, Agnor. Bad times, man. I shook my fist. Did you see? I shook my fist as we walked past. I did. It was a good. It was a good fish shaking. Good I'm fish. sure he felt it deep in his soul. Oh, he has no soul. He you knows. know, you know, like when someone's talking about you, <clears throat> your ears are burning. Or, so, you know, those superstitions. I'm sure he. I'm sure he felt it. Yeah. Uh, do, you wanna, do you want to knock? Sure. Why not? I, I'm. I'm. Uh, people have told me I'm a good knocker. You've got a commanding knock. Uh, hang on, hang on. Let me see. If, let me see how we do. Let me see. Hang on. Ready? The door immediately opens, um, as if uh, p under power, like somebody touched a control, and uh, and inside a a youngish woman is revealed, and she. Uh, she looks at you with a broad smile and says, Ah, excellent. Our scouts, please come in. Do you hear that, Karma? She's, she's heard of my scouting ability. Yeah, I know. She's obviously, um, obviously I've been listening to all the, all the latest news on the, uh, on the buzz. Yeah, I know my videos, they must be watching my videos. They must be subscribers. Why don't you woo them with a bit more of your scouting skills? Say something. Why don't you start a conversation with something? No, it's not the time. She's not scouting. Oh, no, it's not. Still give her one of the personal scouting. She'll, she'll like it. Yes, hello. Uh, how, how can we help? The first rule of scouting, always help people. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, uh, uh, we, we just, uh, we're setting up our little office here. And... Uh, I was obviously um, going to uh, going to give you the the sort of briefing and the update and some information on what we what we were thinking in terms of your immediate destination. Uh, yeah, perfect. Sounds very good. Wouldn't you say, Carl? What, what's, what's that? Sorry, I was looking at his paperweight. First rule of scouting: always get a second opinion. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And uh, she pockets the paperweight. <laughs> Um, okay, so the, the the basic way this works is uh, you're off to uh, to pave the road for the Deep Night Revelation mission. You have a ship now that isn't quite as fast, but with a head start, should be able to get out in front and do some useful work. Um, and obviously, we are. We are hopeful that you will smooth the way and make it easier for a ship as large as, as the Revelation to, uh, to find the resources she needs when she arrives. Um, so, the key information that you need, because now we, uh, we're underway, the plan is for the Revelation to get to a place called Demnon. Oh, hang on a sec. How are we spelling that? D E M N A N. D E M N A M. What? What's M A N. November. M A. Sorry, look one more time from the top. D -E Delta Echo Mike. Yeah. November Alpha November. I was right. You made me rub it out and put it again. Unbelievable. Uh, then is that's their. Is that their first? major stop would you say that's the first point of the journey that they're aiming for and then they plan to cross the great rift 
and continue for a very, very long time. So it's their first major checkpoint. I got you. Yeah. Now, that that place is something like nine or ten sectors from here. Oof. A it's way. a long way. Um, but what we're more interested in with regard to you is the first part of the journey. So we'd like you to aim for somewhere called Tobia, which is in the that... Trojan Reach. T-O-B-I-A. T-O-B-I-A in the Trojan Reach. In the Trojan Reach. Okay. Got it. It's about as far as you can get and still be in Imperium space. Limit of Imperium space. Oh, okay. What's um, what's it like out there? I've never been. And as for the world you'll have to cross in order to get there, I, I'm no expert. Any uh, any particular reason we're aiming for that? Yes, this is the route can... that the the experts have <laughs> planned for the revelation. Is that it should begin with an arrival at Tobia. And Tobia is a good jumping off point for the bit that we really need you guys for. As soon as you get beyond Tobia, you're entering areas of space that are competing for control, a series of loose confederations and and different kinds of, of civilizations and spaces. We're looking for a nice, easy route from Tobia through the first uh, the first couple of sectors um, on the way to Denman. Okay. That makes some sense. So, um, how quickly would you like us to be to Tobia? Like, what's our what's our lead on the uh, Deep Night Revelation? Ideally, uh, you should have plenty of time. I mean, Toby is going to take a while. Mm. Um, I mean, in essence, from where you are here, in the you know, roughly the middle of the corridor sector, um, you, you have to bear in mind that to get from there to um, Tobia, you're going over one and a bit more sectors. Hmm. It's a decent chunk of distance, really. It oh, is. Hmm. Okay. <coughs> um, probably a silly question. Can we uh, can we get communication with the with the revelation? Absolutely. Uh, most importantly, I think when we're um, when we're on planet, it'd be a nice idea of what they're, uh, or at least the quantities of things that they're after uh, in their projected mm. arrival time, so we don't have to, you know, plan out how far we ahead of them we are, how what their consumption rate is, and how much we're looking to secure at that. that I mean, point. that that's absolutely great. Bear in mind, it will depend on. How ships far. heading in that direction to carry those messages. Mm. Um, so some areas, uh, well, while you're still in the Imperium, that should be fairly easy. Once you step beyond, um, beyond the Imperium and out beyond Tobia, it could become, uh, it could still be very easy, or it could be hard. I don't really know enough about the about what you'd find out there. Uh, beyond, obviously, the fact that you're entering space controlled by the Aslan, space controlled by all sorts of groups. Sure, I'm, I'm, I'm sure we'll have a feel for it though by then. That's, that's... Yeah, and you've got a fair head start to get some to get some distance going. Yeah, uh, how long how long a head start do we have? You'll have in total about six months completely ahead, but remember the the ship that's chasing you, though 
quicker is also going to have to refuel at every stop. Mm. Okay. Wonderful. So we can contact the Revelation. We've got a six months lead. And our first big stop is Tobia. We'll have to stop some places along the way. We've got a little bit of leeway. Then when we get there, get the order in, let them know when they're coming, and then shoot off to our next stop, I suppose. Absolutely. Now, obviously, it's entirely up to you what route you pick. Um, and we wouldn't want to uh, prejudge the issue because you're likely to pick up useful information as you go about what's the right place to go next. Um, you'll hear rumors from, you know, from nearby worlds. Uh, but we've made the assumption that you would go first to Hishumaki. Don't feel bound by that if you don't want to. But Hishumaki is the uh, is from our point of view the the obvious choice. How are we spelling that? H i s h u m a k i. H i s h u m a k i. A k i. Okay. What's it like there? Hishumaki. Uh, yeah. From what I hear, um, it's really quite pleasant. It's open democratic friendly you wouldn't want to breathe the air but other than that oh, sounds boring Agnar. sounds boring i want to use my guns keep it quiet though have you seen okay. the paper you seen the paper weight i've taken it's really nice no show me oh, no 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 i won't show you now oh, what i'll do we'll, we'll, we'll put it up bass bars we'll start what we'll start is we'll get um uh oh, a paperweight from every world what we have well, well a collection We'll get yeah, um, yeah. We'll, we'll get Cron to build a little display cabinet, and we'll we'll get something at every world, every place we get. It'll be a little a little display cabinet. Okay. We'll call it Cron's Cron's display cabinet, and it'll Cron's work. curiosities. Oh, Cron's curiosity! I like Cron's curiosity cabinet. Yeah, and then we'll get something from everywhere. I like it. It gets him involved. He never likes leaving the ship, but it'll feel like part of the trip if he, uh, yeah, if yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring him stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, perfect. That sounds um, yeah, sounds good. We'll um, do you want us to confirm uh, Hishimaki before we before we set off? Or uh... um, you you don't have to check in with us <clears> at all <throat> until you have information to report. Just make sure you send a periodic message saying the route you took and whether you encountered any difficulties and would recommend a different approach. So Deep Knight want, deep knight want uh, periodic messages. Yeah. And Hishumaki is just four parsecs away. Oh, oh that means I need more fuel. That means I can't fill up my tank, man. I'm going to have to have some, that bit of extra fuel. It's okay. I'll, I'll, make, I'll make the best of it. I was only going to get some little snow globes and cottages anyway, for me at best. Enough space. And that would mean um, you can be there in two weeks. <sighs> should we, uh, Agnar, should we, should we just go for it? Should we look at other maps, see if there's a better better route? Or are you liking the sound of this place? <coughs> I mean, we can have a look. I want to use my look. skis, really. There might be skiing on Hishimaki. I mean, that, I'm not sure whether we'll have much time. We can always ski. We can always book another uh, buckyball cruise. We'll get oh, there. yeah. Do some skiing while we're there. Do the Aslans have buckyball cruises? There, I mean, there are other choices. You, you're within reach of Sentere, for example. How are we spelling that? Um, S-E-N-T apostrophe E-R-E. Oh. Apostrophe E-R-E. Oh. I don't like punches with the apostrophes. Now that's um, um, a colony, colony mm. world. Is that still a two week? Yes, it it's further, but it will it will yeah. be a two a two week jump. Um, I need to get the map up. Dark Moon is uh, viable, cool. also a, a colony world. Um, Where's that? Sorry. A Dark Moon. A dark Moon. That's, that's quite basic. I like it. Another colony. What's so good about Dark Moon? 
Well, nothing in particular. It's a water world. Um, no, we didn't get the we didn't get the diving suits. I know, I know. So that's that's the one. That's probably, yeah, we don't know that. I, I don't know. No, we're not. We're not. We're not racist against the Aslan sparrows. I'm a bit worried that the floof might overpower Agnar, so it might be interesting to see. <laughs> Bargor on that. Not a risk. Floof. Like but yes, I mean, feel Agnar's. free. The the galaxy is is yours to explore as long as you're always heading in the right direction. Go east, young man. Well, technically. You know, spinwood. Mm. Yeah, sorry, we um we, we tend to use uh slightly older the older oh. the old fashioned terms, front of ship, east. Uh. <laughs> those you know, those those sorts of things. We'll we'll try and keep our four, reports. The four humors. You're talking about the four humors. I know they're not interested in, in medicine. Um but you she's right, the four humors. Um, we'll try and keep our reports in uh, in more modern terms, though, um, won't we? Uh, yes, over, over, over. I'm, I'm looking at the map, Agnar. Centauri is um, it's it's a bit back. It's a bit of a backwards world. Well a dark more dark moon is even more backwards. I can see why they would want us to uh, to take the uh, the basic the basic choice. I don't know, man. Hishmaki is definitely the uh, the best of the three. In that regard, should we start off? Should we start off uh, nice and simple and down the line, and then, you know, see where that takes us? Look, if if Ishmak has got shopping, we need to get you some more pieces for your um your your chessboard, don't we? We need to get another army for that. That's true. And Ishmak is the most likely to have a new army. I feel like if if Dark Queen's just full of water, they're not going to get a new army for it. Centauri's like there's no, uh, nah, it's not great. You say Hishimaki's not got any oxygen, but good vibes. No oxygen, good vibes. I like it. Yeah, it's it's a small population. Um, How, what sort of size are we looking at? How many people are there? A matter of hundreds of thousands. Oh, okay. Mm. That sounds all right. Are they um, anything we need to know about it? Anything? Are we going to stand out like a sore thumb or anything? Um, not unusually. It's it's an imperial world. Um, we're imperials. Well, I am. You 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 should be relatively relatively common folk, I guess. It isn't a, a particularly exciting world in many ways, but it's it's a good it's a good jumping off point, I suppose. I tell you what. I think, Angler, sometimes we get a bit too artsy. And I, I, I accept that I'm I'm the worst the most, for it. The most artsy. The most artsy of all. But I, I, think, I think it sounds all right. Should we go to Hishimaki? Yeah. Or should we at least, we'll at least suggest Start. it to the crew. Oh, we'll yeah. yeah. I think so. It sounds quite nice. Hey, let's do that. See what they say. See what they say. Sure, let's do it. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll, uh, we'll take you up on your on your little quest. Excellent. Well, is there anything else you need to know, or are you happy to get underway? Um, I don't know. Um, can I have this glass? Yeah. Okay. Cheers. Thank you. Do you want one, Agnar? No, I'm fine. Thanks. Good. It's got their little logo on. You sure? I know, and I do like the logo. But it's fine. Don't worry. We've got loads of glasses. We're not going to start a glass collection. <laughs> uh, it's just a second cabinet for Crom. Mose will not thank us. Um, no, I think that's uh, I think that's everything I, I want okay. to say. Okay. Well, um, good anyway, luck and we'll thank you for your efforts. Anywhere we should avoid. Not that we know of. That's really the purpose of sending a <laughs> scout mission out. Well, yeah, but you know, stuff stuff might have come in since you employed us. Yeah, no, we're we're um, look. I mean, we 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 have no reason to believe there's any particular trouble. 
Um, but uh, I would sense. keep an ear open for any any suggestions from the locals you meet as you go. There will be no doubt people who will tell you, I wouldn't go there if I were you. And if you find those people to be believable, then that's probably wise. Perfect. Business as usual then, Carla. Thank you very much. Business as usual. Thank you. Um, for everything, including the glass. Um, what was your name, by the way, my friend? <clears throat> I knew you were going to ask me that. Hey! It's such a beauty um, needs it. Uh, Chara Paldrian. Until we do it last, though. <laughs> and uh, how are we spelling that? Chara. Uh, C-H-A-R-A. Yeah. Paldrian. P-A-L-D-R-I-A-N. And she's the uh, she's the rep, I guess. Yeah. She's the uh, are, you our main, are you our main contact? Or is it just general... Um, you can by all means contact me uh, for as long as I'm here. I'm going to be here for a while, but I'll be collected by the Revelation when she comes through. Uh, are you travelling with the Revelation? Absolutely. Very exciting. It's starting to sound a bit religious, this Agnor. Like they're all some kind of culty crews. Is it just because it's called the Revelation? Is that... I think so. So it is. Yeah, but I won't, well, let's not bring it out though. They, they believe in it. I'm just here for the time. No, I don't know. I don't know. Does she? What's what's her eyes? What do her eyes tell you? Does she believe? Do you think? Uh, the first rule of scouting: never look at someone's eyes. <laughs> <laughs> is is it though? Is it? <laughs> gonna be it. Gonna be honest. I'm just making them up. Yeah. I think Carl was Always doing, remember what happened. Was doing the same. Benny Appleseed? <laughs> yeah, Benny Appleseed. Benny Ironside? Benny, Benny Ironside, yeah. He never looked at anyone's eyes and look what happened to him. Yeah. <laughs> he couldn't. He had, his eyes went in different directions. He could never look at them. <laughs> in the end, he did. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, too. <laughs> <clears throat> well, thanks for the advice. Thanks. No Good problem on at all. The, uh, um, Enjoy your enjoy your explorations and your trip. Uh, keep sending us periodic reports and uh, and very best of luck. Thank you very much. Um, say a prayer for us, um, if you wish. I, I'm not sure my faith would line up with yours. Oh, I know we don't. We don't. We don't pray to the Deep Night Corporation. Ah. Uh, nor do I, to be fair. Uh, Who do you pray to? <laughs> this is good. This is good. This is someone's. This is really. Someone's got five seconds to put in a, uh, <laughs> a no, name and name. <laughs> <laughs> name a deity. Name a deity. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, no, I, I, uh, I actually uh, don't really pray to a traditional deity at all. A um, <laughs> I, <laughs> uh, but I, I, I usually uh, when I when I need to to pray, it's usually because I'm at the gambling table. So I mm -hmm. look across and I. Raise my eyes to Tim behind the bar, uh, and I say, "Wish me luck." That's as close as I come. Uh, one of some eyes, one of some eyes following. Uh, she's a she's a Timist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, good luck, uh, good luck on the gambling tables out there as well. We'll uh, <laughs> we'll see if we can find any en route. Thank you. Yeah, and. Maybe we'll catch up with you at some point and we'll meet again. Not if we're doing mm. our job well. Mm. Well, eventually, I'm sure we will. Six months isn't enough of a head start for us to not catch you eventually. Uh, and we are pretty much on a cross-channel ferry. Um, yeah, so very nice to meet you and good luck. Oh, Agnar. What well, a pity, yeah. Uh, oh, well. The, the extent of this is uh, dawning on me, my friend. <laughs> Do you want to and out? that's where we'll call it for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, we oh, get to call it tonight cool. with the Rose's cat, Ben. 
Oh, a Rose's do cat. I think Rose's... we can do a Rose's cat. Yes. Yeah, I, th I, th I think that's only fair, actually. Mm. It okay. has been redeemed. It shall be done. As it is redeemed, <laughs> so it shall occur. <laughs> Gerald Caggs was a rough and ready sort of person, rough around the edges and ready for anything. His chosen career as a mercenary had taught him to affect a certain kind of attitude, one suitable to his role and the reputation he intended to earn. He had come to realise that potential clients trusted a mercenary who appeared comfortable with violence and able to survive dangerous situations. This led him to dress in vaguely militaristic style and wear a belt with a holster, even when the weapon itself had to be left behind. He was eminently practised at glaring at the happy, frowning at the enthusiastic, and glowering at the charming. He assumed the same thing would apply to any situation he faced. Now, however, he was confronted with an enemy that was at least his equal. Caboodle, the tiny kitten, belonged to a line of domestic cats that had been selectively bred for thousands of years to be the most appealing, charming, and adorable it was possible for a mammal to be. Cags, on the other hand, was a first-generation anti-hero. His parents had been middle-class professionals. He was finding his carefully constructed persona beginning to crack and fracture each time he found the little cat climbing into his lap, chewing on his boot, or curling up next to his drink. For a while, he resisted gently pushing the cat away. But Caboodle was determined and rather enjoyed that game. If some person wanted to stop the cat, then that must mean there was a reason for the cat to proceed. It was obvious. It was a bit of a surprise when this battle of wills heading in the inevitable direction, when something suddenly changed. It might not have been obvious to Caboodle, but there was a moment when Cags was asked to leap into action. And when that moment came, he had no time to even studiously ignore the cat. He just raced off and threw himself into the firing position of the ship's main weapons. He sat, bringing the systems online, tense and ready. All his cheerful pessimism and happy fatalism gone, as he had to concentrate. The Baltic Star was in peril, lives were at stake, one of them his own. Cags was, under his affectations, a professional warrior with weapons at his command and a vital mission to accomplish. He sat motionless, ready for action. He exchanged a few tense words with Sil Sava on the bridge, who was trying a negotiated solution. They say that diplomacy is the art of saying, nice doggy, while you reach behind you for a rock. Sil Sava was a diplomat. Cags was a rock. As Cag sat in the pit below the lounge, his every muscle taut, he didn't notice the kitten walk up to the edge and peer down at him. He didn't even notice the little cry the animal let out in a plea for attention. Caboodle looked down. Cags was perfectly still, tense. An easy target. The little cat leapt into the pit. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> ah. It was Caboodle all along. <laughs> it was Caboodle all along. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, uh, <laughs> I hope that's okay, Sparrow. <laughs> oh, it's nice to have Caboodle back. It's been a long time mm. since we Caboodled together. Too long. Too long. Too long. Too long. Uh, thank you, Ben. And thank you for the start of season four. We did some shopping. Mm. We did some planning. Mm -hmm. We had a lovely old time. You now have some actual understanding of what you're doing. <laughs> I, I don't know. Yeah. I, I wasn't paying attention. I was just writing. Oh, that's words, good. So, yeah. It's all right. It'll probably come up in the pre-episode <laughs> introduction. Exactly. I've taken loads of notes. Morning, notes when I catch you, oh, have you? Have you got lots of notes this time, Ewan? Yeah. Uh, Season four notes, four remember? Four, four, like, four words. Yeah. yeah. And four now we're done with the shopping in the <laughs> <laughs> we, I think we're back for Traveller next Friday as well. Two in a row. That would be brilliant. Things were start to the yeah. season, and it, and it's oh, it's yeah. worth it's worth doing that. I think because we're starting a new a new season, it's worth having a bit of a 
a bit of a block to get going. Yeah, 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 definitely. I remember when we didn't miss one for like a year and a half. Yeah, house in days. Life has become more complex and less complex. <laughs> so <laughs> funny like that, isn't it? Really? Yeah, mm. it's weird. Yeah, but no. yes. Uh, so yes, see you next week for that. And tomorrow we're doing something very different. Ah, oh, the Olympics is back. The Olympics, the Olympics are, are back. The monkey tails have joined us just as we finish up, and we're talking about tomorrow. Mm. Thank you for joining us. We just finished our first mm. episode. It was just a shopping trip. We spent a load of money on weapons and ammo and nonsense. And we had skis. Lovely, we had, uh, skis. Skis. Very so lovely. many skis. So many skis. And enough uh, guns to start a, a small revolution in a very small country. But uh, we're there for it. Um, but we're talking about tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to be, um, every now and again, every like year or so, we run a, a silly little dice fest, an Olympic game. And because the Olympics are coming to a close, um, we've managed to squeeze one in. Um, so it's going to be our Baltic Star 2024 Olympics. There's six events. What are they, Ewan? Uh, Olympic events, sports. They're all sports, Luke. Yes, what are they? Uh, skateboarding, yes. kayaking, yes. climbing, yes. weightlifting. Yes. Uh, archery. Yes. Archery, yeah. And one more. I uh, can't remember the other one. Uh, weightlifting. I, I said, said weightlifting. Oh, surfing. 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 Uh, That's what it is. Surfing. Yes, that, that endless tense wait for the right wave. Oh, that, that was, it's yeah. good. Mm, it's good. Yeah, yeah. So we've got, um, so we are doing uh, the Olympics on Saturday. It's a, it's a glorious dice fest. It's ridiculous. You come along, you just cheer for teams. It's We've not said it's anything other than luck. There's a bit of strategy, I guess, about timing things right, but you're relying a lot on the dice. The Icelandic team are back. They're very strong. They tend to win a lot of medals. Don't mm -hmm. they, Ewan? A lot of medals were, for Ewan. It's, yeah, it has been, it has been noted that, that they have a, uh, a rather large proportion of medals. Yeah, uh, the, <laughs> but the, that's how dice work. You know, they average out. They, they, they so. do. It could be a bad year. They average yeah. out in your in your way. The Greeks are back again this year, <laughs> Ben. Yeah, the, the Greeks. The the not the... as many medals. We we actually I seem to remember it might have even been the first one we did really quite well, and since then it's been a bit less lucky <laughs> for us. <laughs> you gave it. You've given it a go. Which I respect. The um, we've got the uh, the two balloons are back. This year again, uh, back with the two balloons, which is which is lovely. Yes, um, oiled up and ready to go. Ah, uh, they they got they they lean a lot on their skateboarder. She's getting old now, though. She must be at least yeah. sixteen. Mm. So, uh, we've got a new country this year. The Italians are in. Oh is, well, everything's better when the Italians turn up. It's, it's quite exciting. Well. <laughs> <laughs> The, uh, the Greeks and the Romans fighting. Uh, that's okay, Foxy. Thank you. Don't worry. We're finishing anyway. We're finishing anyway. Um, I hope you had a really good session. For you. Mm. I, I, I managed to jump in for a bit. The masks are excellent. The horror was excellent. Uh, I, left, I believe when the seance was happening, you know, partly because seances freaked me out, but partly because we had a, a stream to start. But it was really good stuff. And thank you for having me when I was there, actually. Um, there's still time. If anyone wants to join the Olympics, uh, let us know before mid tomorrow afternoon. We can take another country or two. We can take up to six. We've got four this year so far. So we have got space. We can take it. It's um, six events, five events, six events over a few hours. All you need is a, all the dice. All the dice. A whole range of dice and a a happiness and a willingness to just lose because of a dice roll. Thank you, Foxy. Thank you for popping in. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I think if, if you want to play, you have to accept that actual victory is a fleeting thing, which and you may see happened. very little of, because <laughs> Iceland are there and they win everything. <laughs> yeah, they win everything. <laughs> because no victory. Maybe this could be the year where Iceland fall apart. That'd be quite interesting. You never know. <laughs> Never Don't say that though. I'm gonna try and put up an over, at the end. I'll try and put up an overall medal table to see uh, how far ahead of everyone else Iceland are. 
Thanks. Uh, <laughs> but if you're not going to play, come and watch us. It's silly. It's fun. Honestly, I I enjoy it. Running it, it's 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 a bit ridiculous, and uh, we love the fact that we do it from time to time. Um, so that is this Saturday, and then yes, we'll do a um, I think next Friday. I think this week, Ben, I'm off again. I might start Hitman Three this week. Really? Okay. Yeah, I've got no reason to get up. My kids have we've been away for a week or so. The kids just want to spend the next three days or whatever at home. So I think I've got I've got a Monday or Tuesday I might do a Hitman. So I might um we Hitman's one, we Hitman's two. So I feel we need to Hitman three. Fantastic. So uh, Um Yes. I, I if if I'm about, I will be about. Good man. I'll I'll chuck that up on the uh, the chat or something if if it's happening. Well, we've, got, we've got some stuff on the channel. Come along for us. Yeah. Olympics tomorrow. Uh, I'm hoping so, Spurs. I think I'm looking at the levels. I'm hoping there's not a, like one of those sneaky um, practice levels, which I got very angry about in Hitman 2. It tricked me, Ben, didn't it? It tricked me into a, a tutorial level. I was very angry it, about it. It did. Um, in fact, you, you were some way into it before you realized and you, you started <laughs> to get very angry about the house mm, i don't i don't like uh, tutorial levels um moose death was excellent but, moose, but was that brilliant. wasn't the same house where that person was diligently mopping the carpet no no <laughs> oh forget it. yeah mopping the, was it breaking the carpet and mopping the the grass or something. Yes, I can't remember now. It it just looked so weird because the somehow that particular NPC character was clearly in the wrong place. In the wrong place. <laughs> I, I was diligently using exactly the wrong tool on the on the flooring. I, I enjoyed Moose Death. I enjoyed the souk. I enjoyed that level. I enjoyed the the racing car level. That was the. Uh, mm. That was when I got to dress up as a. That was the bird, bird costume. Yeah. yeah, that was good. Flamingo. Flamingo. Yeah. This one's got. I think the first level we're in a very high building. It's supposed to be like the Burj Al whatever thingy. Okay. And then there's a level in a German nightclub. I know that much. And then there's. Uh, oh, well, well, we'll enjoy. We'll enjoy all the levels as we always do. Yeah. So. Uh, yes, I, I I fondly remember Death by Moose. There, there were a couple of others that were great. There was a really gruesome one in the garage of the uh, of the racetrack. Oh, when I crushed him under the thingy. He, he, he kind of got simultaneously crushed and torn apart by heavy machinery. It was really yeah. it was really icky that one. I, I much prefer the the clean traditional moose death, and, especially and in Sweden because you know it's the second highest rate of death in Sweden. Yeah. Moose. No yeah, one, it, it, no one suspected foul play. Exactly. Yeah. yeah they, I mean, killed by falling moose is yeah, is so common there. It's it's common, it's common, yeah. yeah, I got away with I got away with murder quite literally there. Yeah, it's <laughs> like crop bears in Australia. Yeah, exactly. They just assume that's the case. Ah, but anyway, lots of, lots of exciting things. A lot for you to ponder, dear viewers. They do find trees. So you've got to watch out for them. They'll attack you from nowhere. What moose or crop bears? Probably moose. Um, mm. We'll see you all tomorrow. And we will see you tomorrow because you'll want to yep. come back for this. Brilliant. Olympics tomorrow. And take care, everyone. Sleep well. Thank you all. Cheers. Good night, everyone. Bye.